decided to do the article Developing Craft of Writing 6th Grade and um, Connecting Reading and Writing Through the Author's Craft. Both of these articles talk about um, the techniques you need to do to teach your kids to write and what type of techniques they need for their writing. Um, they talk about how you need to have a good lead. Um, you need somebody that's going to get the reader's attention and to make it unforgettable so that the reader wants to keep reading and wants to find out what's in the rest of the piece. Um, they also um, want to, to see the world through your eyes. When you're writing something, you're, you're telling the world about how you see something. You're telling a story from your point of view or an experience that happened to you. And each person's writing is going to be their own writing. So it's great to teach kids that everyone has their own voice and they need to use their voice and speak their voice when they are writing. Um, the articles also talk about having a writer's notebook, which has been a theme throughout all of these blogs. Um, these writer's notebooks are great for helping you share your own. Um, it's, they say that they're a gateway to your soul, which is true when you think of something you write it down or you write out an experience that happened to you. So it really is very personal and tells a lot about that person. Um, a couple of the techniques that the articles talk about um, you needing to teach your kids are um, how to have your writing flow and not be choppy and jump around. It, your writing really needs to be smooth and flow freely and it's also very helpful to write once you have your idea down, you've chosen your topic, and then you can just sit down and write it. Um, it also talks about characterizations. It's great to develop your character. We need to teach our students to not only write a good paper, but to also develop the characters fully and how the characters are going to change throughout the piece. No one is going to stay the same. Um, that's why we, we really need to teach the um, students how to characterize someone and how to have them change throughout the piece. It's also helpful to have different endings. Um, we did that activity in class where we um, learned about all the ending techniques and those are very helpful for students and I think that um, that's a great thing to teach them is how to end the piece well. It's very helpful to start it well with a lead but you also have to end it well. Um, they also talked about using strong verbs. When you just say something like he said or he did, it gets really boring, especially if you use those words throughout the whole piece. But if you use them like he exclaimed or he shouted or different things like that, then it becomes very interesting and you feel how the per person in the story was feeling when they did it. If they were angry, you feel the anger. If they were excited, you feel the excitement. It also helps you visualize what's going on in the story. Um, we also need to teach how to convey meanings to certain audiences. If you're writing for your classmates, you write a certain way. If you're writing for an adult or to try and um, get accepted somewhere, you're going to write differently. So we need to teach students how to change their writing up and have voice depending on who they're talking to and who their target audience is. We also need to teach them different things like similes and metaphors, onomatopoeias, all of those things are just, they really enhance writing and they really just make writing interesting. Um, and here's a quote from one of the pieces. It says, our constant professional pursuit is to improve our understanding of the link between reading comprehension and writing production. Reading and writing go hand in hand, and that's one of these things this article talks about. How if you're a great writer, you become a great reader, and vice versa. When you read like a writer, you're going to see the, how the author put it together and um, the elements that they used, and if they ended it well, if they led it well. You're going to notice those things because you've been taught to write that way. It's the same thing with reading and writing. If you are taught to write like you would a reader, you think to yourself, okay, would I want to read this piece? Is it interesting? Does it make sense to someone else? You can just really use these techniques to help each other out. And um, that's my vlog.